Hi, welcome back everybody. I'm Jeff Parton, your voice for the Mortgage Minute for the Mortgage Voice, and I appreciate you listening in each and every day. We try to get on LinkedIn and Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, we don't quite make everyone every day, but at least on a weekly basis, we're on two or three times. We also have a radio show that we broadcast on five stations in three different states from Albuquerque up to Las Vegas, Nevada, in the Inland Empire, and up into uh, Lake Tahoe in the Tahoe area of California and Nevada. Uh, let's get right to some news that you can use. Uh, the rates. Yeah, rates are always the most important thing to people. It's easy to understand, and the lower they are, the less you pay. So <laughs> here they are. 30-year fixed rate at 2.8, 15-year fixed at 2.38. Uh, the FHA is at 2.33. The jumbo loan is at 3.14, and the 5-1 arm is at 2.42. All really good rates. Uh, the bond, the 10-year treasury is trading between 0.87 up to 0.97. So it's not quite busted through that uh, one point level. And as everyone knows, if the yield for the 10 year is up, so will mortgages. Now that's been offset a little bit by, of course, the Treasury and um, not, not the Treasury, but the Fed buying uh, the Treasury notes at 80 billion a month. And they're also buying mortgage backed securities at 40 billion a month. So $120 billion a month is kind of offsetting the market, i.e., keeping rates really low. That is going to continue, although we are seeing some noise that uh, the bonds themselves will have to trade a higher yield because uh, the attractiveness of uh, the treasuries is going to be less, especially when COVID gets. Uh, more under control. And as the vaccine is being rolled out, if we're looking at March, April, May, in those areas that uh, uh, the economy will be back to at least being able to be opened in many places, uh, you will have a lot new, a lot more entrepreneurship, a lot more restaurants, a lot more uh, socially gathering type events and places opening up, whether it's concerts or movie theaters or other, uh, you're going to see the desire for 10 years lessen, therefore the yield has to go up, so we're probably going to see the mortgage rates go up. Now, we haven't seen that symbiosis all year, but we should uh, begin to see it now because, as I said, COVID is getting under control. Um, home equity, very interesting. Uh, the home equity last year, that means, let's say your house is worth 300000 now it's worth 330000 in one year. Let's just say that's true. So if you added that difference in the amount of money it's worth this year versus last year, it's at $1 trillion U.S equity in their home has grown by $1 trillion. Now, what does this mean? It means that as interest rates remain low and the equity in your home rises, anybody who wants to take money out of their home, yeah, it's a pretty good idea, especially if you've got a rate around 4%, take money out of your home and lower your payments. Oh, that's a good thing. Even though it extends out the amount of time you're probably going to have to pay that loan. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a really good thing and a good thing for a lot of people who need the cash right now. Uh, let's see. The credit is more available today than it was last month, the month before, the month before that. Uh, what does that mean? It means that the standards for some lenders, uh, actually a lot of lenders, has uh, loosened up a little bit. So the underwriting standards are less. Uh, the, the FICO scores are less. So you can get more products available to you. Certainly in the non-QM sector, that is also true. Uh, the government conservatorship of the GSEs. Okay, so there's been a push in the Trump administration by uh, Treasury Secretary Munchen to uh, end the conservatorship of the GSEs. For those of you who don't know what the GSEs are, that's Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, Ginnie Mae. These are all under the control of the federal government since the 2008 uh, recession, the mortgage meltdown, all that stuff. Uh, where they uh, put $165 billion into it. They took ownership or conservatorship. Uh, they have a, a lot of outstanding shares that they own. Well, they want to get out of that. They want the government out of the mortgage business, which I think is a good idea. However, they're worried that if you did it right now before the new administration took over, you would shock the market. Rates would go up. There's a big, long article in Housing Wire or in um, uh, Mortgage News Daily if you want to read more about it. But uh, that's happening. Uh, it's just there's no rush right now. And that was the, the point of, uh, I guess, what I'm talking about. Uh, Marcia Fudge is the new HUD secretary. She's a representative in Congress. If you want to go and take a look at her and what she's about. Anyway, I'm Jeff Barton, your voice in the mortgage industry. Thanks very much for listening. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow.